In today's video, we are going to learn how to animate icons or animated icons in Figma. So let's get started. I'm going to share with you or show you first what we are going to make. These are actually components uh, or we would call them component sets that have been animated and they will keep on animating once you press the button. So I'm going to show you how we are going to do that. So first let's see, uh, you can see on the screen we have this uh, uh, playlist app I just created and if you click on this play icon you can see these music bars they are vibrating they are moving the music is playing once you click on pause or stop it will again stop go back to play button and if I play again it will keep on looping like that so this is actually the power of components and component sets. We are actually animating a component set, but there is a very small secret you need to know, which I'm going to tell you in this video. So keep watching this video because uh, you cannot animate them easily. There is just one trick uh, hidden inside that is going to help you animate or create something like that. So let's move to the design. So here is the design and you can see we have this component set of um, one, two, three, four, five different components. And um, let me show you one more thing. So let's uh, select this frame and show you the power of this uh, component set animated icons. Okay, so you can see now, this is another example. So these are three bars and a heart that is beating so these are icons I have created in Figma using Figma, very simple trick I am going to share with you now. So let's get started. So first thing is that we need a component set like you can see over here and how we are going to do that. Uh, so what I'm trying to do is let's start with the simple one. Okay. So first we are going to have a frame. So or artboard. So we are going to press F and uh, let's create something like this so it is 100 by 100 uh, okay so now i am going to create another uh, frame inside this so let's move to this layer so you can see this is frame 8 let's rename it to let's say animated bars okay so we have a frame, let's create another frame inside this. So we have another bar over here. This is going to be bar. And let's change the color to something else. Um, let's use this one. Okay, so we have this bar, let's uh, keep it over here and make it this height and I'm going to press Alt Option key to replicate it. So this is going to be over here and this is going to be at the bottom. Okay, so here we have one bar set. Um, let's try to replicate this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so I have replicated them six times and uh, okay so here we have this is our um, animated bar frame inside we have other frames and we are going to group all these frames so this is really really necessary step if you don't group them it is not going to animate so command g so this is going to be called bars so these are going to be my bars um, Okay, so for the background, let's use um, this color. Okay. Okay, so we have completed one frame. Let's replicate it. Command or Alt like this and Command D to replicate and duplicate selection. Another one. So I have created four animated bar frames. Okay. Now I am going to, let's uh, rename it to 2, 3, and 4. Select all of them. And we are going to create a component set. 
So you can see this is what we are going to need. So animated bars. Okay, so first step is complete. We have a frame inside. We have another fr other frames that are inside a group. So uh, make sure you can see over here. So this is the group bars and then we have more frames inside them. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we are going to animate it. So let's zoom in a bit. So I'm going to click and move it like this. So just keep adjusting them, whatever you like. So I'm going to skip this process. Uh, we are going to uh, do the same for the other ones. Okay, now we have completed our component set. We have changed all the alternative different music bars and now we are going to prototype it. So select this animated bars, go to prototype and we're going to select first one, click and drag. And in the interaction, we are going to use after delay. And uh, let's use smart animate ease in and out 300 milliseconds, but after delay is going to be started after 100 milliseconds because we want it to start very fast. Similarly, we are going to use the same 100 milliseconds uh, and ease in out 300 milliseconds, same settings for this one, uh, 300 milliseconds after delay, 100 milliseconds. Okay, so now we are going to connect the last one to the first one. Okay, so here we have again the same settings like this. So let's, let's test it out. So what I'm going to do is let's go to assets and uh, on this frame, let's move to design. I'm going to drag and drop it over here like this. And now let's try to run it and see what is going to happen. Okay, so you can see the first state is a bit uh, strange. So we are not going to move it uh, in the middle. So let's try to change that. Maybe something like this. Okay. So let's try to run the frame three again. Let's play this one. Okay, now you can see this. These are very nice animated bars. You can have a transparent background or whatever you want. You can create such kind of animated icons using Figma component sets. So that is all about component sets and animated icons. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, subscribe and share this video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.